Okay, so once again we're at the um, Papio Creek. This dumps into the Missouri River down there, way down there. As you get further down, the Missouri River's down there. And this goes across, and there's a bridge there. And today I'm fishing for gold eye. A lot of times people call them skipjack, they're not, they're gold eye. A lot of times people call them moon eye, they are not. And my method is two ways. I have a bobber with a, uh, with a bobber with a worm on it and it's about 18 inches to hook the bobber and then we're gonna, follow, we're gonna throw a crankbait too. A two and a half inch crankbait I got from Walmart for $1.96. I believe it's called a wounded shad and it has produced before so we're gonna try it and switch up to another crankbait if that doesn't work. This is BigMuddyFishing.com, and we'll get back to you. Okay, once again, it's BigMuddyFishing.com, and we've been here about a half hour. We always, we already put one in the net. Not as big, but this was on a bobber and worm. You can see there, worm. And so, another gold eye, right in the Papillion Creek near the mouth of the river, near the mouth of the Missouri River. So we're going to put this one on ice. Okay, so now we have number two. And these are a lot smaller than normal. Okay, so this is number two in a worm. I caught this one like 10 minutes after I caught the first one. As you can see, I got a bucket full of ice here. And there's a, a saltwater brine in there. I probably need a little bit more water. But there's a second one. So that's good catfish bait right there, people. BigMuddyFishing.com Okay, so there's number three. Not catching anything on lures today. These are all coming off worms. So we're going to get him in that icy mix. We're going to put a little bit more water in there so it's colder in there. But right there is some good bait. So right now I believe I have seven uh, gold eye and total. I got four at home in the freezer and three here and my goal was ten so we're getting close. BigMuddyFishing.com Okay, well, we're up to five now and they're actually getting bigger. I stopped trying to use lures and I have two poles going with worms right now. Uh, note to self, uh, one bag of ice is not enough so I'm gonna try to get those deeper down in that cold water. There is salt in there and ice but I really need more ice. Here's where I'm at. You can see there's my uh, bobber right there. And then I have another bobber over there. And I'm not that far from the bank really. There's the bank. I'll just do a wide shot there. And then, you don't know if you can see the bobbers in there, but I'll tell you what. So there's where we're at. It's not that wide, but they're on fire right now, so I'm very happy about this. So, here we go. Okay, I got everything bagged up, and I got cut 10 gold eye today. So, there's some good bait bags. I really need to work on getting some better, some better um, bags. Those, bags are okay. They're great value Walmart bags. The kinds that just have the little slider zipper. I'm not sure if that's better or not. They're more expensive, but I don't know if that means they're better. So anyway, that's a good amount of bait. Probably good for bait now. You know, I'd like to freeze this and try this bait and see if my freezing technique works. You know, I did, I did put these in ice right away. I did put salt, you know, in the water and get the temperature down and got them frozen right away. So they wouldn't decompose, but you know, only thing that will tell is when we catch fish with one. So until then, BigMuddyFishing.com.